thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I just want, first of all, thank Representative Kay Khan for organizing this and having all, all this here. And thanks all of you for coming here. You don't realize, I don't think, how much of a difference you make when you raise your voices loud and clear. You are heard. The reason we have expungement to begin with, the reason that we did raise the age a few years back is because of all of you. So I want to give all of you a round of applause and thank you. I have to say, if I had my choice, I would raise the age to 25. You know, that's where it should be. We're not there yet, but we will keep pushing for at least to 19 and then beyond. But you need to really keep it up. Expungement, as was mentioned, I was really um, proud and thrilled when folks first came to talk to me about it and happy to be a part of it. Did we get it 100% right? Clearly no. You know, that we need to keep collecting and requiring the data collection uh, and data transparency uh, to end racial disparities. Um, the, the student um, school exclusion is an issue that we need to continue to work on um, and ending the criminal prosecution of teens who engage in the consensual sexual conduct. We need to ensure that that doesn't keep happening. So these are some very concrete uh, things that as you go around speaking to people, make sure you are loud and clear with this. A and the only other word I, I want, well, the two, two things I want to say, be persistent. Persistence pays off. We wouldn't have the original expungement, but for persistence. We wouldn't have raising the age, but for persistence. It will happen. Just have faith. It takes time. I've had bills when I was working with folks to get rid of the old chin system, uh, reforming it. It took seven years. Seven years. If you keep it up, it will happen. And the last thing I want to, just like I started out with saying, thank you, thank you, thank you.